One last feature that I wanted to quickly talk about was a much requested user feature that was added in version 1.10 of the SEO2 firmware update. And this was to add pulse width modulation to the oscillators. So previously there was a way that you could do pulse width modulation by routing oscillator three to control one and two, uh, but it didn't have the slowest kind of rate and a lot of people have requested this. So it's great that it's been added in a new feature. So I'll show you how to do that. So in our sound here, we have just got a saw wave going at the moment. I'm just going to change that to be a pulse width wave. So to access the pulse width modulation on this one, we are going into the patch edit menu. So my button is at the top here for patch. And the first two options that are labeled comp and play, push those two together, which take us into our menu. And we have two new options here on buttons seven and eight. So we have the LFO pulse width modulation rate and the LFO pulse width modulation depth. So if I turn up the depth control and also turn up some of the rate, you can hear it cycling through that pulse width rate. We can go to quite extreme values. It's almost going through zero. And we can change the rate as well. It can get quite messy with that, but it's really good and it gives it a really fat sound. And as I say, it was a much requested user feature. So I'm really pleased that it's been added into the SEO2 now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been useful. If you have an SEO2 already, I would definitely encourage you to update to version 1.1 so you get that pulse width modulation and have a mess around with the sequencer. And if you're thinking of getting one, I hope this may have answered a few questions that you might have had about it. Thanks very much. I'll see you again.